The structure of a learning narrative mimics the structure of storytelling. Here is Freitag's pyramid that depicts the storytelling structure. First you have the exposition, where the scene is set and the background is explained. Next you have the complication, or the rising action, where the story builds because things start to get more complex for the protagonist. Until we have the climax, the turning point, where the story reaches its most tense point between the protagonist and the problem of the story, or the antagonist. Then we have the reversal, or the falling action, where the protagonist takes action to start solving the problem. And finally, we have the denouement, the moment of release where the protagonist solves the problem or conflict, and there is a sigh of relief from the climax. You can find the story structure in one of my favorite stories, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. In the exposition, Gandalf learns that Bilbo's ring is the One Ring, crafted by the Dark Lord Sauron. In the Complication Act, the Fellowship is created and begins their quest to destroy the One Ring. After a long journey, in the Climax Act, Frodo and Gollum meet to fight over the ring. Then in the Reversal, there is a huge battle that results in the destruction of Sauron and the rescuing of the Hobbits. And finally, in the Denouement, the enemy scatters in disarray and Aragorn is crowned king. In a learning narrative, we have similar acts. The entry event and questions, investigation, problem or challenge, creation and test, and final product. We start with an entry event, an event that sparks curiosity and questions, and introduces students, our heroes of this narrative, with the context of the project. Then we have investigations where students try to answer the questions they generated from the entry event to gain essential knowledge and skills while learning more about the project's context. Next is the problem or challenge. With all they have learned so far about the context, they identify a specific problem or the challenge that needs to be completed within a real-world context that will lead to positive change or improvement. After that, students apply what they've learned and use their creative mindset to develop, create, and test their solution to the problem or a product that demonstrates their learning. And finally, the final product, where students make final improvements, fix the last failure points, and then present the final product to an authentic audience, ideally the people they are solving the problem for, and then they do their final reflection on their learning. As you can see, there are a lot of project-based learning elements. We have sustained inquiry, a challenging problem, student voice and choice, and a public product. All integrated into one unit or project. Additionally, you can see how the chain of events contain a cause and effect relationship between them. You can place your learning narrative graphic right into your unit plan to help teachers see clearly how the learning activities create a cohesive experience and what direction the learning will lead to. I like to place it in stage one of the UBD unit plan. Thank you.